This next fly that I'm going to tie is the Niagara Shiner, a minnow pattern I designed for steelhead, brown trout, lake trout, and bass on the Niagara River. The hook is a TMCO 300 size 6. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the tape for the body. You want to start slightly behind the eye of the hook and even with the hook point. Peel off the backing and fold the tape over the hook where it was measured. Next, trim the tape into a belly shape using straight and curved scissors. Next, prepare the mylar tubing. Measure, trim, and remove the insert. Slide the mylar through the hook and over the body, slightly past the bend. The thread I'm using to secure the back section of the hook and the entire fly is Semperfly Nano Silk 18 knot white. Secure the mylar behind the tape at the back of the hook, a dozen or so wraps, whip finish, and trim. Next, secure the mylar in front of the tape, start the wrap, trim the tag, and make a few wraps, and pull the mylar to stretch it over the tape. Secure and trim any excess. Next, secure the eyes from underneath the hook, between the eye of the hook and the tape. Use figure eight wraps to secure and add head cement. Next, add the first portion of the polar fiber for the wing behind the eye. The tips are even with the bend. Tie in the second portion of the wing underneath the hook behind the eyes to the hook point and secure. Trim off any excess on both wings, flush with the eyes and secure. Add head cement. Next, split the thread, wax, and add bluish white dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister to the thread below the dubbing double over the thread and spin. Brush out the dubbing, switch over to a hackle plier, wrap the dubbing behind the eyes and in between. Pull back the fibers with your fingers. Secure by the thread in front of the eyes, trim and brush out the dubbing. Next, tie in the fine strands of pearl flash, slightly past the top wing. Next, tie in the white synthetic fibers with flash over the pearl flash. Secure and web finish. Add your next portion of white polar fiber wing under the hook in front of the eyes. Secure and whip finish. Pull the fibers back, both top and bottom, using the same thread. Secure both together slightly behind the eyes. Wrap about a dozen or so wraps and trim the tag. Next, take two strands of pearl flashabo, fold it over the thread and secure. Trim the excess even with the longest part of the wing. Repeat the same step on the opposite side. Secure, whip finish, and trim. Next, cover the white portion of the thread with red thread. Whip finish and add head cement. Start the thread again in front of the eyes and trim the excess winging material on an angle. Build up your thread and whip finish. Next, tie in the next portion of white polar fiber wing from underneath, slightly shorter than the previous wing to get a taper. Next, split the thread, wax, and add the same dubbing loosely. Attach the dubbing twister below the dubbing, double over the thread, and spin. Brush out the dubbing and wrap edge to edge along the threaded portion of the wrap, secured by the thread. Next, add black polar fiber for the top wings 
Take a small section of red rabbit strip with the hide attached for the throat and tie it underneath and secure and trim the hide. Next add three or four strands of peacock curl and tie it in on the top of the black polar fiber slightly longer. This gives the fly an overall neat taper. Finally add the side wings, grizzly hackle tips slightly shorter than the top wing, secure and trim the butts and excess wing, wing material. Any strands that are left sticking out past the eye, I use a lighter to singe it off. Build up the thread with whip finish and trim. Wrap the black thread with whip finish and trim. Add thin head cement, let it completely dry, then add the final finish. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe or leave a like if you want. You can check my other videos for more advanced fly tying techniques.